Hi, my name is David, and with this video, I had a friend talking to me, and he kind of inspired me to put this together. Uh, he was always having problems uh, getting the correct color tone or contrast for images and just asked me, you know, how do you do it? And um, I was trying to come up with something fairly simple that he could use and uh, it seems to work really well. Uh, it's using the curves adjustment layer. So with the first image, we, we have several images pulled up here that have different issues. Um, this one's a little too warm and a little flat feeling, just doesn't quite work out. Uh, this one's definitely flat uh, because of the lighting and has some, some bluish cast to it. And um, so we just have some issues going on with all these images, and we'd like to get the contrast right and the color correct. Um, so what we're going to do is come down to the Adjustment Curves layer, um, go down to Adjustments, which is a little yin-yang sign down at the bottom of the Layers palette, and we're going to click on that, and then go down to Curves. And what that does is that co pulls up the Curves Properties box. And with that, we want to basically go to our eyedroppers. Um, the black eyedropper is going to give us black, so we're going to just click in a black area and then the white is going to give us white. Now the problem with this is it's giving us a solid white, a completely blown out white so we have no detail in the in the highlights and then also with a shadow um, area shadow eyedropper what we're doing is when we click in that area we are going to have completely black uh, shadow detail um, so that's pretty much shadow without detail so we have a real high contrast image at this point a uh, little too much uh, but that's basically because of how these are set up the eyedroppers defaults are so we have the same images pulled up somewhere else I'm going to go ahead and pull up that curves again and what we're going to do now is go in and fix that inherent problem um, for what we need this for. Uh, we want to double click on the black and what that does is that pulls up the shadow area and we want to change the defaults from 000 in the shadow area um, in the red green blue layer. We're going to change that to uh, basically 18 on all those. So what we've done is we've adjusted our, our shadow or our, our black default to be uh, not quite so black, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, it's asking us if we want to save the, these as new color defaults, and yes, we do. Um, if we ever want to change that, we can just basically come back in, in here and type 000 again and um, reset them to zero. We're going to come into our highlight area and do the same thing. Double click on that, and we're going to reset these defaults to 240. And these are just numbers that I found work for me. And then click OK. And yes, we're going to go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and pick the, the shadow color picker and click on the shadow area and then go back up to the white and then click on the white on the clouds. And that gives us a little better contrast. We have details in the clouds now and it's sort of giving us a nice contrast all around. So we can show you the before and after. And then we also have the before and after. I had uh, went ahead and on the first image with a image uh, defaults set the way they were originally. This shows the high contrast where we're blowing out the whites and the blacks are very black. And in the new image where it's just kind of a little less less contrasty. Uh, then we can come in here on some of the other images and just basically do the same thing. We're going to grab the adjustment layers and go down to curves go up to the black color picker and um, basically in this in this in this wall I know it was black when I was there so I'm gonna just click on the wall and then we're gonna come to the white and then basically just pick a white on the clouds and that sort of pulls out the color shift we had um, we have another image here that we're gonna do the same thing to we're gonna basically come down to the adjustment layers and go to curves we're gonna pick an area of the wrought iron which is this black wrought iron right here and we're going to click on that and then we're going to go ahead and click on the white eyedropper and then click on a white area of the image and that's given us a lot better contrast so uh, basically it's a real simple way to go in and, and do some color adjustments um, the thing with the adjustment layers is whenever you work with adjustment layers you have this opacity so if you feel this is still this may have gone too far contrast wise what you can do is just basically grab the opacity slider and, and bring it down and that gives you the option to see it at different uh, sort of like a rheostat where it adjusts it and it shows you a different percentage of the adjustment. So it at least gets some of the color back out and gets a little truer color for the image. Uh, but that's just a real simple way to go through and, and use the curves adjustment layer so that you can 
just do a real quick color correction and it works great. So if you have any comments, please leave me any comments and uh, thanks for watching.